a guide and a father who have motivated and encouraged us in all possible ways for which we have come to the completion of our courses successfully in this seminary. Our heartfelt gratitude also goes to all the lecturers who have been a constant support to all of us. Their endless labor in molding and shaping us has widened our perspectives to a far extent for which we would say that it was such a privilege to be shaped and trained under such wonderful and qualified team of lecturers. The knowledge that you have implanted in us, dear teachers, will one day bring forth with many good results. I also, on behalf of the graduates, express our heartfelt gratitude to the family and sponsors for your constant support, prayers, your sacrifice, love and encouragement. You have all played an important role in our lives in helping us to reach God's purpose in our lives today. We believe that the seed of kindness that you, so, that you have sown today will one day bloom in the hearts of all that you have sown. I want to personally encourage my graduating friends that we have successfully prosecuted the course of study which has been prescribed as the necessary preparation for God's glory. For this, I tender my congratulations and rejoice because in a good rest we have all well begun. Education does not stop after we graduate from this seminary. We are all but commencing, not closing our career. This is just the beginning for us, so let us keep striving for the best for God's ministry. Last but not the least, we the outgoing students would also like to encourage all our junior friends that the branch of study we all choose claims equal attention from every aspirant to gospel ministry. Let no indolence, timidity or indecision keep you back. Be discreet but bold and firm and from the beginning you have made resolve to go on and seek the rich reward. Hard work is not an easy way but it is definitely a sure way to success. So keep strive to live the best and become the best because you are in the right place. FTS has been like the second home for us where we have spent most of our time as a family. We will always cherish the moments we spend together in this seminary as brothers and sisters in spite of the many differences that we have. Let us always be reminded that we are called to extend God's kingdom and enlarge his tent. Let us shine for the Lord and keep preaching the gospel. God bless FTS. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Greetings to every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would like to thank each one of you for coming to Faith Theological Seminary and to attend our 15th convocation and to pray for our graduates who are here today. Thank you every one of you for coming. Amigana Ji, Kiban Jun Aishe, parents come, Reverend Khan Pastor, our sponsor Khan Aishe, Abuni Khan Ke Sai Gide, Ami Khan Tu Mon Tangor Aishe. Aman students Khan Aru Stab Ami Khan Yete Family Ekta Disna Boi Thakye. Abuni Khan Ke Dekhiya Na Ekin Tu Aji, Isur Kam Kura Madu, Officers, good parents come. I will so mana aigene ite jama pura tu. Ami ham tu mon tangor ha tu. Ami ham kiman ba mano asetege isor na para eneka abu ne kesa aigene mon bishis Christians. Abu ne kan laga church members aru abu ne kan la childrens yete FTS ke pota aigene ami ham ke ta kan logo de. Baba, Aru, Chogara, Nishna, Thakikine, Family, Nishna, Thakikine, Dui Sao, Tin Sao, Gopa Mantoto, Char Sao, Bi Thakise, Ami Ghan, Imam, Kusi, Bara, Thakise, Aru Aji, Takam Tu, Kors Tu Kotom, Hakine, Isur Kam Te Jabo, Eneka, Redi Hoise, Eneka, Tam Te, Abdi Ghan, Aru Sob, Unna, Hakine, Takam Karnabi, Partera Kurebo, Aru, FTS, I am college, partner of the college. I am a partner of the college. I am a partner of the 
Principal for the generous introduction class of 2023, and I can see that we have a wonderful set of students who are going out with pride but also with a sense of achievement and most importantly with humility. We are here today to celebrate the achievement above all the spiritual achievement of our children and students with a deep sense of joy and happiness. And I want to thank the principal and all faculty members and staff for putting, for putting in so much effort in the making of this occasion a reality, particularly to the graduates of this year's bench the class of 2023. I'm also happy to see proud parents and family members of the graduating students who are present today. You are here to show your love, support, and solidarity for the graduate in your family. This is a big achievement for the families as well. So well done, all of you. And together, we will continue to celebrate this defined, defining moment with thankfulness and gratitude to God for He has made all this possible for us today in this manner. The graduate of class 2023, you have already scripted an important chapter of your life here in this seminary and in a few hours time you will go out to write an even more important chapter in your life and you know the script writer he is none other than God your father who has called you and if you will obey his direction he will let you write a destiny a colorful destiny with hope and with purpose if you are willing to follow him and finish well with him in your life too. Today I am here to present a brief background of the situation we are in today. The reality we are facing every day and how we can address these issues and challenges together. The world as we live in is rapidly raising difficult questions which are not always easy to answer and you know that. Sometimes the answers to these questions are tough and even elusive. The society we live in today is prevalent 
with complicated issues from an individual to families to church and to society. And these issues need mutual dialogues in the light of theological understanding and ongoing ethnic conflict in Manipur is one such example. We as community of faith must continue to intercede and pray that peaceful coexistence and uh, normalcy should return at the earliest. And the church, all of us, need to do more. Today, atheism is growing. Religious oppression is on the rise. False teachings and wrong doctrines are confusing people, leading them to cultic practices, even in our kitchen. Temptation and destruction of all natures are confronting from all directions. And so how do we live and minister as servants of God? We who are involved in the ministry and to those that are freshly joining different ministries, we must give utmost attention to this urgent issue. Firstly, the need for rightly dividing the word of God and to live according to what we preach and talk. To preach and teach the word of God with power and decisiveness according to the purpose and will of God and not misinterpret or deviate from the biblical truth. So go out with the biblical truth for which you are empowered and equipped to do so.
name of Jesus, we claim victory over all the devilish work. In the name of Jesus, amen. Praise the 